So, in one of the most compelling topics, why the narcissist stops having sex with you, I'm going to dive deeper into this topic. There are many variations and reasons as to why the narcissist does this, but only one definite answer. And this can be very upsetting, very deliberating. And believe me, do you know what? It actually has got nothing to do with you. Want to know more? Watch this video. Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video today, we're gonna to be looking at the whole kind of controversial, intricate, and probably very strange world of sex and the narcissist. Now, there, oh gosh, it is, it's a really complicated one, not gonna lie. And it is something that I have talked about quite a bit on this channel. And I know that a lot of you do wanna understand why this actually happens. So if you wanted to know, like I'm gonna insert some of these uh, videos here. So if you wanted to know more, like I, I have filmed like other content about it, but this one I really wanted to look at, literally these painful experiences and why they actually happen, why the narcissist actually has to do this. And I'll be honest with you, it's not about you, it really is them. And I'm not just saying that to make you guys feel better. It's not because you're not good enough. It's not because you're not sexy enough. It's not because you don't don't look good naked. It's got nothing to do with that. There are so many reasons as to, what, as to why the narcissist does that. But ultimately it comes from their own dysfunctional ego. It really is them, like, it really is them. And I know that this can be very confusing and a painful experience. So look, my friends, let's explore these possibilities in this video. But just really quickly, just really, really quickly, season three of the live streams is out now. It's probably out now whilst this video is live. Um, so yeah, so come on over. It's on every Tuesday um, at 9 p.m. UK time. So guys, if you've got any questions or there's something on your mind, maybe we're gonna even explore this topic further because I regularly do, like a lot of people do struggle with this uh, topic. But yeah, anything that's on your mind, come on over. We've got a really amazing supportive community. And and I would love to see you there, guys. Come on over. Okay, so let's look at this. So sexual intimacy is a really vital part of many relationships. Like it is a really important part. Like intimacy is what bonds couples together. It's what bonds two people together. Now I'm talking about this in a healthy sense, not in a narcissistic relationship. I'm gonna talk about that in just a moment. But in a healthy uh, relationship, it's a bond. It's a way of two people expressing with their bodies how they feel about each other. And there's nothing wrong in that. It's actually a natural part and a very healthy part of many relationships. And it's a way of deepening the bond between two individuals. Okay, but with a narcissist, this doesn't happen. And these are the reasons why it doesn't happen. The first one is control and power dynamics. So the whole idea of intimacy, sex, foreplay is turned into a nasty, sick game of control and power dynamics. As we know, narcissists thrive on controlling their partners. Things have to go their way. Things have to be the way that the narcissist wants them to be. There cannot be any variations. And what you will find mostly that what narcissists do when they're controlling you with sex is they will withhold it. And this is where I think a lot of you have struggled with the fact that how can you withhold sex from someone like that is ultimately abuse because as human beings, we have needs. And again, there's nothing wrong in that. That's not unhealthy. Okay. So when someone is withholding sex, they exert power over you, keeping you off balance and insecure. Again, it's another way of controlling you because if you are insecure and you are off balance, you are then put into a state of anxiety, of upset, which again, you're not thinking straight because you're emotionally loaded, which means it makes it really easy for you to be controlled and to be emotionally manipulated. Now, the narcissist will use this as a power play, as a power game. Okay, so this is the dynamic that we're, that we're dealing with here. And that's ultimately what's happening because when you are starved of your basic needs, you then go into a, a state of fear and a state of shock in, in many cases as to trying to understand 
why this is happening. This then renders you vulnerable. Okay, and when you're vulnerable, you're easier to control. And that's where these dynamics of this interaction are hap- is, is what is going on here, what is happening ultimately. And that is what is happening here. And when you withdraw sexual activity, you are controlling that person. And a narcissist will regularly do this because it makes them feel important, doesn't it? When you have someone that is wanting something from you, it makes you feel important. It makes you feel needed. And this is another reason why they do it. Another aspect of this is the devaluation phase. So if the narcissist is dismissing you, devaluing you, then this is going to be one of the things that they are going to get you with. Because again, they know that this is a natural part of a relationship. So what they will do is they will try and take it from you because it again, it makes them feel important. It lowers you and your credibility, which makes you feel worse, which makes you feel bad. And the narcissist is very happy about that because they're making you feel bad. Very happy about this because they're going to do more of it because it's a, it's a form of punishment. It's a form of devaluing you, making you feel like you are just not good enough at all. So it keeps you again trapped in that thought process of you thinking that you are just not good enough and that you are undesirable. And what happens is the narcissist will start to see you as less than perfect because, yeah, they've put you on the pedestal. They've made you look good in their eyes. And when you have done something that they don't like or something that they didn't agree with, but remember, this is all perceived. The narcissist will make up excuses on seeing you in that way simply because a narcissist will want to exert power over you. And if they put you down, they see you as less perfect. So they got to punish you in some way. When they know that you want to have intimacy with them, they're going to take it away from you just to spite you. Yeah, I know. These are the psychological games that they play. And this is it. Intimacy sex does not mean the same thing to a narcissist that it does to you. They use this as currency. They use this as leverage, okay, against you. So this is how they know that they're going to get something from you that you crave, that you desire, that you want. Again, this is abuse because how can you take a need, a human need, you know, and and destroy it like this and use it for power, use it for control? Do you know, I talked about this about food. They do this as well. Like, think about it. An artist will take your needs, your needs for food, your needs for love, and they'll take it and they'll destroy it and they'll put a whole other connotation on it. And sex is no different. So when they're devaluing you, they're going to take away something that you want, simply because it's going to hurt you more. It's going to make you feel insecure. It's going to make you feel that you are not good enough and that someone is rejecting you sexually. And that is one of the most hurtful things. Okay. It's like a betrayal. It's like them cheating you. I don't want you. I I don't want you. I don't feel anything towards you. That makes you feel undesired, unwanted and unlovable. And many of us internalize this. Many of us, this is our core wounding, perhaps from our own um, past, from our own childhood experiences. And so this is going to play on our minds. This is going to hurt deeper. And that's why they will devalue you and they will demean you, making you feel unworthy and undesirable. Okay, so I don't want to overlook this because this could be a possibility, right? So it could be that there is another person on the scene, like they're seeking new sources of validation. So that might mean that they are kind of flirting, trying to get like someone else's attention. Um, And they're constantly seeking some sort of validation from other people. If they find external sources for this validation, they're not going to go, they're going to go with it. They're not going to give two hoots about you. Like, honestly, I know that that sounds so awful what I'm saying, but I just want to, I just want to get you guys to understand the psychology behind this, All right? Ultimately, the bottom line is, is they want validation. They want all of this for them to feel good. They want to feel amazing. And they don't care who they have to hurt, what, whose heads they have to step over to basically get what they want. If they've got some kind of new romantic interest, they've got some flirt going on, or 
you know, they see someone else that's interested in them, that's gonna validate them in a massive, massive way. And our, that that's just gonna make them feel good. They're gonna go with it. So they might stop having sex with you. Usually they wouldn't, but if they're in a devaluation phase or you've done something that they don't like or or they have seen you in, in their head as less than perfect, then they probably will do this and then go back to it and then withdraw it. But ultimately for them, it's about they redirecting their attention and energy elsewhere. Okay, usually a narcissist won't do that because that's like more validation but perhaps maybe if they are wanting to get this new source then do you know what I mean they're gonna they're gonna literally go for it so that this could be another reason why they're withholding intimacy from you but look you know the narcissist will take it and they will twist it and they will make you feel like ultimately you are not good enough the other issue here I wanted to kind of mention is insecurity and performance issues yeah, a narcissist might have this. There might be performance issues. Okay, a narcissist is not exempt from this. Despite their outward confidence, narcissists have a deep-seated insecurities about their sexual uh, performances or their attractiveness. So like if you get a narcissist that doesn't feel good about themselves, they're gonna, they might withdraw from sex, they might withhold it because if they don't feel good enough to be able to perform it or they don't feel good enough like, to maintain their facade of protect perfection, then they're gonna avoid doing this. They're gonna avoid having sex because like it, they know that that is not validating them. Like they don't care whether it's good for you or not. It's not validating them. So hello, like they're gonna withdraw it. And I know like you might think, oh, they're so confident. They're so this, they're so that. But like if, if there's issues in that department, um, then they then they're gonna withdraw from that simply because they just they don't want to look bad they don't want to look like they're the ones that are at fault here so if it's anything to do with their sexual performance and their attractiveness this is something that they might kind of stop having but i think like if this was an issue you'd probably know about it like you'd probably feel it because i know that when i've talked about these topics um you know, like in the lives or in other videos, then this is this is something that has kind of come up. But I think a lot of you have said that it almost feels very surreal, almost like robotic, meaning that there is no emotional exchange that's happening. There's no bonding that's happening between two individuals during sex or intimacy. Like this is ultimately like getting control over your emotional well-being, you know, and that's where you know, there is this dark aspect to sex and the narcissist makes it dark, okay? Because it's like they're playing a game. It's like they have no regard for you. It's literally all about them. And it's all about seeking validation, getting their own needs met. And that's the really sad thing about it. This is where narcissism can really, really ruin their victims' self-esteem, their confidence, their self-worth, because sex is such an important aspect between a in a relationship between two people. And when it becomes dark and dirty, the way that it is, the way that the narcissist uses this, it can really destroy so much for the victim. And so understanding these behaviors can help you make sense of the narcissist's actions, knowing that actually it's not you, it really is them. And it's crucial to prioritize your own well-being. And if you're experiencing this kind of manipulation, because like, that's what it is, it is a manipulation. Please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. And if you wanna, if you want more information, it's it, please see the description box below. Um, it is crucial that you get support because it will help for you not to kind of internalize them and think that it is you. Please take care and be kind to yourself. And if, if you have found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and put the bell button on so you know that you don't miss out on any videos that is coming up. Please share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.